In this video, we are going to see how to share new MailChimp campaigns on Slack. So every time a new campaign is designed in MailChimp, which is an email marketing tool, you want that the information of that campaign should be shared with your team, which is sitting on Slack, which is a social messaging app. Now, how can that be done? For this, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here, your trigger application will be MailChimp and your action application will be Slack. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user over here. And here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. Here we have reached a dashboard. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. Now, what is my objective here? My objective is that every time a campaign is created in MailChimp, which is an email marketing tool, then automatically the campaign details should be shared to my team sitting on Slack. So I'm going to name it as share new MailChimp campaigns on Slack. Let's click on create. As we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this, when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger application. Now, as per this integration, my trigger application will be MailChimp. Let's click on this. And now the trigger event here would be new campaign. So this workflow is going to run every time a new campaign would be created in MailChimp. Here you can see we have received a webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect with MailChimp. So I'm going to copy this and once copied, we have to follow the following steps. This is the help desk given. So let me show you what we have to do. So this is my MailChimp account and here we have reached a dashboard. Now go to audience. So as we go to audience here on the right hand side, you can see manage audience. As you click on this, you will be able to see settings. Let's go here. And here we have to scroll down. You will be able to see webhooks. Let's click on this. And now let's click on create new webhook. Now, once we are here, so this webhook URL that we have just received, I'm going to copy this and go to MailChimp account and paste this over here. Right now, what type of updates should be sent? So since here we are creating a campaign, so I'm going to uncheck all of these and we are going to check only campaign sending. Then only send updates when a change is made by a subscriber, by an account admin. And we are also going to check for via the API. Let's click on save. So here we can see that the webhook has been configured. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. So let's click on recapture webhook response. As we do that here, it is asking to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So now I'm going to go back to MailChimp. Why? Because here we have to create a test campaign. So let's go to campaigns. And here we have to go to all campaigns. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create campaign. Let's click on this. Now here we have got various options. Let's go to design email. Now here, this is how your email would be designed. So I'm going to add a subject line here. So let's say this is, this is a test email. Okay, this is my subject line. And now I'm going to click on save. So once this is done, let's design the email. Now here we have got various options. The designs, you have got multiple options. I'm just going to go for the simple one, which is a text format. So let me show you. So here you have got various templates. I'm going to go for simple text. Now here you can see that you can design your email. So what I'm going to do is here, first of all, I'm going to change the content. So this is just a test email. So I'm going to write, this is a test email where I am integrating MailChimp with Slack using Pabli Connect. Okay. Now this particular part, the copyright part, I'm just going to delete this. 
once deleted let's edit the headline as well so this is a demo email okay now i'm going to click on save and close now since this is just a test email a test campaign so i have not put a lot of information you can obviously design your email as per your specifications you can add images you can add urls videos etc now let's click on continue so here it is saying that my email campaign is ready to send so now as soon as i click on send it will be sent to all the subscribers who are at present linked with this account so as i click on send it is saying that you are about to send a campaign to pably connect 13 subscribers let's click on send now now as soon as we do that here it is saying that my email is out there another job well done which means that this campaign has been shared with all the subscribers going back to pably connect here we will receive an api response on the basis of the email that we have just sent the campaign that we have just sent so let's wait for that so here you can see that we have received the api response this can take a few minutes so please be patient now in the api response we have received the type which is campaign then the date and time when it was fired so here we have the date and time then the data subject this is a test email now the data status that this mail has been sent now again this is the data list id and here we have received the data id now once i have received this i want this information to be sent to my team sitting on slack so my action application here would be slack let's click on this and the action event here would be to send channel message let's click on connect here pably connect is asking to connect itself with the slack account i have already logged into my slack account so i'm going to click on add new connection connect with slack now here it is asking me for the token type when i'm sending a message to my team it may include messages with urls and videos etc that's why we usually go for the user as the token type let's click on save here pably connect is requesting permission to access the pably slack workspace which is a workspace in my slack account so i'm going to click on allow as i do that here you can see that the authorization has been successful now let me take you to my slack account so as i logged in so i went to pably so here you can see that i already have created a channel the name is mailchimp campaigns you can create your own channel by clicking on this add channel tab now i'm going to go back to pably connect and here i am going to map the mailchimp campaign account and then we have the message so here i'm going to write team a new campaign is created on mailchimp now details here i'm going to map the details what is mapping mapping means that i already have this information in the previous step and i'm just going to retrieve it here how am i supposed to do that so as i click on the previous step here you can see the response let's say first i want to take the creation date so i'm going to write here creation date and okay then this is the creation date then i want to add the subject so again here is the previous step and this is the subject then i want to add data list id okay so again let's go here this is the data list id and finally i want to add data id so again as i go down so this is the data id so i'm just going to write regards so this is the information that i want to share with my team if you wish to add images you can add the url here all text bot name bot icon etc so if you want to reply broadcast you can do the same thread message id etc now i'm simply going to click on save and send test request and as i do that here you can see that a message has been sent to my team on slack let's go and check the same and yes here you can see that a message has been shared on slack this basically means that our integration process is a complete success but we also need to check the same in real time so i'm going to take you back to mailchimp let's go back to all campaigns and create campaign again i'm going to go to design email and here i'm going to add a subject line this time i'm going to write demo subject and in the preview text i'm going to write the same thing demo subject and let's click on save so once this is done let's click on design email i'm again going to go ahead with simple text so let's go down this is simple text and now here first of all i'm going to edit the data so here i'm going to write this is a demo test 
case okay that is it now i'm going to delete this copyright part and then i'm going to change the heading as well so here i'm going to write test heading okay let's click on save and close continue and now i'm going to click on send send now so here you can see that the email is out which basically means that now and a message must be received on slack let's go to slack and yes here you can see we have received another message which basically means that our integration is a complete success now i'm going to take you back to public connect to understand what we have done so here our trigger application is mailchimp where the event is new campaign and our action application is slack where the event is sent channel message this is an extremely easy two-step integration process i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using public connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com connect to get all the details about the latest updates the integrations and applications you can visit our facebook group if in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.